All right, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushah, Ba'ashem Rakaq I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders, our great millstone. And it's just says, Shalom, throughout the eye came out here. That's doing again, pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. Um, going in this video, that grace and truth of the law came by uh, Yahweh Shah. Okay. So, when you go into the law, okay, that was given unto us from the Most High, okay, um, the law, first off, was only given to the Israelites, <clears throat> the judgments of um, uh, what's going to happen, they were only given to Israelites, okay, for Psalm 147 and 19. It says, he sows his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Okay, so the only ones that's going to get this truth, okay, and understand it are, first off, the elect, okay, of the nation of Israel. Okay, so they're the only ones that's going to understand his, 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 his word, his truth. Okay, it says, he have not dealt so with any nation. And as far as judgments, they have not known them, praise ye the Lord. Okay, and when Yahweh Shah was here, okay, you had people who knew that they was Israelites, okay, that didn't accept them, okay? And um, you have people who still don't accept them to this day, okay? And don't even understand what his, um, what his doctrine was, okay, or is. Okay, <clears throat> so when you go into the scriptures, okay, about the law, right? One of the first scriptures, okay, is Matthew uh, 5 and 17, okay? Because, you know, they try to say that the laws are done away with, you know, which, you know, they come with, you know, scriptures that um, Paul wrote okay and i'm gonna you know kind of touch on that a little bit but this scripture right here matthew 5 and 17 it says think not that i am come to destroy the law or the prophets okay so all of the things that are in the law okay that um we're supposed to follow okay were not um done away with okay it says i am not come to destroy but to fulfill Okay, and one of the things that he he has done, okay, or fulfilling according to the law, okay, you know what, let me get that, Matthew 5 and 17, okay, where it says fulfill, okay, to make full, to fill up, i.e. to fill to the full, okay, to cause to abound, to furnish, supply or supply liberally okay to render full to complete okay to fill to the top so that nothing shall be wanting to full measure full, fill to the brim okay so when it comes down to what the lord said about the law okay is the fact that when when it says i am not come to destroy the law to get rid of the law but to fulfill Okay, the law or even the prophets so that people can understand that what the the prophets and the scriptures prophesied about the Lord coming during the, during that time, okay, when he was here on the earth, and then also prophesying about the the times in the future. Okay. So giving the the he came to give the complete understanding of what the prophecies we're talking about or what the prophets were talking about okay and then he also came to give the complete understanding as far as what the law is concerned what the law is talking about okay because a lot of people don't understand that okay they think that the laws was done away with but the lord said that he didn't do away with the law okay he came to to to, to give the the understanding of what the law is is um is speaking about okay but then you have people who try to say that paul 
okay, and they always go to Paul, you know, and they'll say that Paul did away with the law, but no, it's just the, the fact that Paul was, you know, given uh, or expounding on what the Lord was saying. Paul wasn't wasn't uh, uh, crucified for for us. Yahweh was okay. In Second Peter three and fifteen, and it says, "An account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom." given unto him hath written unto you okay as i mean is also in all his epistles speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to be understood okay and one of the things that's hard to be understood okay is you know the things that he spoke about concerning the law okay because we supposed to we supposed to fulfill the law okay and do as the law says okay um, but when you go into it, Yahweh says, you know, he came to give grace and truth about the law. Okay. And I'm going to get into some examples about, you know, what the, what, what that means. Okay. Of what, you know, when Yahweh said came and he fulfilled certain things. Okay. It said, um, so the, the things that Paul wrote, okay, are hard to be understood. It says, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest. Okay, so they wrestle against the scriptures as they do also the other scriptures onto their own destruction. Okay, it says, you therefore, beloved, seeing you know these things before, beware lest you also being led away with the error of the wicked fall from your own steadfastness. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, says Yahweh Shah. Okay, you don't say grow in and uh uh grace you know and the knowledge of you know our lord paul okay which that's not to knock anything that paul says because paul was coming and he was you know putting more emphasis on you know the grace that was given on to us okay and the grace that was given on to us is not that the laws was done away with it's just that okay when you go through certain things in the scriptures, okay, like this one, okay, Matthew 12 and 1, it says, And that at that time, Yahweh Shai went on the Sabbath day through the corn. His disciples were in hunger, hungry and began to pluck the ears of corn and to eat. But when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto him, Behold, your disciples do that which is not lawful to do on upon the, whole, the Sabbath day. OK, because you got people who think that it's all about the law, the law, the law. Right. And um, he said, but he said unto them, have you not read what David did when he was in hunger or hungry and they that were with him, how he entered into the house of God? Yeah, how about some else? It says um, and did eat the so bread which was not lawful for him to eat, neither for them which were with him, but only for the priest. Or have you not read in the law how that on the Sabbath days, the priest and the temple profane the Sabbath and are blameless? But I say unto you that in this place is one greater than the temple. Okay, but if you had known what this means, I will have mercy and not sacrifice you would not have con condemned the guiltless for the son of man is Lord, even of the Sabbath. Okay. So, you know, people will read this and, you know, they won't get the whole gist of, of, of what is actually being said. Okay. When you, the same way how, when you go into, uh, let's say you break a law in this world, right. And, um, uh, like for example, Maryland, okay, out here in Baltimore, there are no self-defense laws, right? But, you know, they'll say if somebody breaks into your house, you have to make every um, every attempt to, to leave the house, you know, in order to not kill that person, right? But the thing is that, you know, you 
if the if a person comes into your house, okay, you you supposed to be able to defend yourself, right? And if they if they trespass against your 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 house and they come into your house, right? You you have to defend yourself. You're not going, especially if it's at night. You're not going to uh, run away from somebody at you know in the house. It's your house, you know. So uh, even though it's is no self defense laws, and they'll say, oh, we'll you know try to um, you know charge you for. Uh, uh, killing this person because there are no self defense laws. That don't mean that when you go to court that you won't beat the case. You know, and that's what that's what the the, the what Yahweh Shah is basically saying. You know, somebody may bring a, a a charge against you, right? That's according to the law, right? But there are certain uh uh matters that comes with that law that people don't get. You know. And that's what Paul was also expounding on, you know, certain things that come down with these laws that are in the scriptures. OK, you have to get down to the nitty gritty. OK, because it may be just plain and cut, but some people would just view it like that. But it's deeper than just, you know, oh, uh, you know, you're not supposed to do these things on the on a, on a Sabbath day. OK, so continuing on, it says, and when he was departed, thence. He went into their synagogue, and behold, there was a man which had his hand withered, and they asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath days, that they might accuse him? Right? So they, you know, if if he was to did something on the Sabbath day, right, then, <laughs> then they would, you know, try to say that, hey, you know, we're going to bring this uh, accusation against you. And, hey, the scriptures talk about when people do these things that you get put to death for the Sabbath day, right? That's one of the, 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 the Ten Commandments, right? It says, and he said unto them, what man shall there be among you that shall have one sheep? And if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, will he not lay hold on it and lift it out, right? It says, how much then is a man better than a sheep wherefore it is lawful to do well on the sabbath days okay so you know they they been people being wicked you know was saying that uh you know it's not good to to do those things on the um the sabbath day but the lord is saying that it's good to do it's lawful to do well on the sabbath day you know it may be the Sabbath day, for example, and one of the brother's cars may be broken down, right? You know, on the Sabbath day, you're not supposed to do anything. But then guess what? His car break down on the Sabbath day because we still got to go to work, right? We still in captivity, right? And, and you know, uh, you may not do anything and the brother may hit you up. You may be a mechanic, you know, just for an example. And you may you may have to go help the brother out, you know? You ain't supposed to say, oh, man, I can't do anything because it's not the Sabbath day and or, or I got to wait until after the Sabbath day sets. And, you know, you, you do what what was 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 well, man, you know, and that's what a lot of people don't get. OK. Um. So when Yahweh Shah came and he gave the, 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 the grace, OK, and the understanding Okay, of what the scriptures say, okay, that's for that's for the elect to understand, because everybody isn't going to understand. It says, "Where whosoever therefore shall break one of the these least commandments and so teach men, so he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven." Okay, it says, "For I say unto you." That accept your righteousness, okay? So let's get this word righteousness in Matthew 5 and 20, okay? Because our righteousness, okay, is important. Okay, it says, in a broad sense, it says, state of him who as, as he ought to be. Righteousness, the condition acceptable to God. 
So if God tells you to do these things, right, to do like like he says to not eat uh, uh, pork, crabs and shrimp and, and you 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 study eating pork, crabs and shrimp. You think that that's a condition that's acceptable unto God because you're protected by grace? No, that's a disgrace. OK, but if the if the Lord, for example, he said not to not to eat it, but then you eat something in which they 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 put pork in literally everything in the society, you know, and um, you know, you don't know about like the, the ingredients that were, were, you know, that are in these foods and stuff like that, you know, so it's a lot of it's a lot of, you know, craziness in this society where we don't really know what's going on or fully understand what's going on with our food, you know? And there's a lot of scriptures like with Paul, for example, he said, uh, you know, when you go to a, to a, um, when you go to a feast, someone bids you to a feast, right? You basically said to, to eat what's in front of you, you know? Or, or else don't don't even go. You know? That's that's a part of what, what what Paul was 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 speaking about, okay, in um in his epistles. But some people was thinking, oh, I could just hey you you having some they, they say, Oh, we having pork and stuff like that and you just go over there and just eat it, you know, and not even worry. Well, you know, for your conscience, they just told you that it's pork, don't even touch it, man. You know, and then if you go there and you see that this pork, you know, you, of course you don't, you don't touch it, you know, but, um, I'm gonna try to get that, man. Okay. Um, First Corinthians uh, eight and one. It says, "Now it's touching things offered unto idols. We know that we all have knowledge, right? Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifies." It says, "And if any man thinks that he knows anything, he knows not nothing yet, as he ought to know." Okay, so. You know, you go to a brother house and a brother, you know, um, now I'm not even going to say brother, man, because a brother ain't going to be into no idol, you know, uh, no idol worshiping or anything like that, you know, but you go to uh, 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 um, someone's house, right? And you may be trying to win them over. It may be somebody that you just, you know, love or care about. It could be a fan. It could be a business meeting or something like that, you know, and um the um the thing is that you know this person could be an Israelite, they'll um offer you something, you'd be like, no, 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 man, we we don't we don't I don't do all that. You know? And that 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 right there, you know, just because you know something don't mean that you're you're you, that you're in the right spirit. You know? So it says, But if any man love Yahweh Basim Yahsad, the same is known of him. So if you really love the Lord, you know, if you if you do eat something, right, that somebody gives you or somebody uh uh does give you, right, and you say, oh no, nah, that was uh, to an idol or something like that, that don't mean that you that you you're going off. If you really love the Lord, then then it will be understood. The Lord already knows that you you love Him, you know. It said, and I'm not saying this to 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 say that you could go and just willingly and knowingly do something wrong. Okay? It says, As concerning, therefore, the eating of those things that are offered in sacrifice unto idols, we know that an idol is nothing in the world, and that there is none other God but one. So just because someone says, oh, yeah, uh, this is uh, 
a bean pie from Allah. Like, uh, Allah ain't nothing, man. You know? It's a bean pie from Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. Okay? It says, For though there be that are called gods, whether in heaven or in earth, is there be gods many and lords many, and, and they see Allah is in, in heaven and all that stuff. And all, even you got these gods on this earth. It says, But to us there is one, I mean, there is but one God, the Father, in whom are all things, and we in him, and then and one Lord, Yahweh, by whom are all things, and we by him. Howbeit there is not in every man that knowledge. So everybody don't have that knowledge. Okay? For some with conscience of the idol unto this hour eats it is a thing offered unto an idol, and their conscience being weak is defiled. Okay? But meat commends us not to Yahweh Shimyao Shah. For neither if we eat are we the better, neither if we eat not are we the worse. Okay? But take heed lest by any means this liberty of yours become a stumbling block to them that are weak. Okay? So you don't want to, to do something, right? And you, you eating, right? And, and, you know, this is somebody who, you know, may be weak and they start thinking that they can just do whatever, whatever the case may be. Right. And start being wicked. You know, some people don't don't understand that. So when it comes down to fulfilling the law. Right. You know, we're 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 given the liberty. OK, of doing certain things, you know, that that are lawful of doing well, you know, but that don't that don't mean that the laws are changed, you know, because we we we're 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 supposed to establish the law and do as the law uh, says, you know, but you got some people out here who just don't have no understanding of what the law um, is really talking about, okay, like, for example, and I'm gonna um, get this lesson, and I'm gonna end it, because it's talking about, you know, food right now, but it's other examples, okay, First Corinthians, 10 and 25 it says whatsoever is sold in the samples that eat asking no question for conscience sake okay for the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof okay it says if any of them that believe not bid you to a feast and you be disposed to go whatsoever is set before you eat asking no question for conscience sake okay but if any man say unto you this is offered in, in sacrifice unto idol. Eat not for his sake that sold it and for conscience sake. For the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Okay. So whatever is sold in the stores, you know, don't, you know, just, just get it. Just, you know, like it'll, it'll say uh, pure 100% ground beef. And then you'll read an article that says that ground beef is not, uh, uh, what is it that that ground beef is not? Let's say, for example, a hundred percent ground beef. You know, which a lot of it's not. You know, and I'm just using ground beef as an example. You know, but you just get it. You know, cause cause at the end of the day, you know, the 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 Lord is the one who who's having grace on us, man. The scripture says that we're going to eat our food defiled amongst the Gentiles. You know. That don't mean we go and literally eat defiled food, you know. So that's what it that's what it really means, man. You know, we're protected by grace, man. Okay? And not to, to we're not protected by literally going out there and doing wickedness, saying that the laws is done away with. Okay. So with that, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to say Solomon till next time.